Hi. So, um, <laughs> that's Ben, um, one of our dogs. And Ben is where he's not supposed to be, which is up on a chair. But I didn't really have the heart to kick him off, and he's looking very cute right now. So I think we're going to let him hang out. Um, so anyway, today, if this is your first time here, welcome. Ben welcomes you. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Today, I want to talk about um, what I hope to read in September, which we're already into, although it doesn't feel like it because it's sweltering everywhere. But um, so stick around with me and Ben. So I, I only picked um, seven books to go over today because, um, first of all, there's a lot that I have on my NetGalley list that I, I really have to get to. Things like the new Elizabeth Strout. And some of these things I'm probably just going to end up getting a copy of because the Strout, I'm, I'm a completist and love her and have everything she's written. But anyway, so I wanted to go over, um, these are the books that I hope to read as well as things that, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll wrap up at the end of the month and there'll be surprises for all of us. So the first one is there is a Rio Grande in heaven by Ruben Reyes Jr. This had been sent to me by Mariner books, um, a, a little over a month ago. And thank you for, thank you for this. I really knew nothing about it. And then I started to see it pop up for a couple of bookstagrammers actually who really, really loved it and said it is one of the best short story collections they've read. So it immediately, I thought, okay, I have to move this up. I almost thought I was going to read it last month, but I didn't get to it. So it's just as an electrifying debut story collection about Central American identity that spans past, present, and future worlds to reveal what happens when your life is no longer your own. I think this is a wild, fantastic cover. So anyway, that's the first. Speaking of wild, fantastic covers, A Sunny Place for Shady People by Mariana Enrique, who wrote Our Share of Night. I, I love this cover so much, and thank you to Hogarth for this copy. This will be on sale 917. There are a series of, again, short stories. Here I am diving into the things I said I normally don't like to go into, but a diabolical collection of stories featuring achingly human characters whose lives intertwine with ghosts, goblins, and the macabre by one of Latin America's most exciting authors. This seems like the perfect book, too, for October and for Spooky Month. But um, I, you know, it's funny. I didn't finish Our Share of Night. I got into it. I was really kind of into it. And then it started to lose interest for me. Um, so I never finished it. But I'm, I'm anxious to try this because I'm, I'm hearing great things about it. And again, love this cover. So that's number two. All right. Number three is Our Evenings by Alan Hollenhurst. And um, thank you for, for from Random House for this copy. This is really one of my most anticipated books of the fall. This is out October 8th. I've read so much of Alan Hollenhurst's books. Of course, he's won the Booker Prize. This one says, a piercing novel that envisions modern England through the lens of one man's acutely observed and often unnerving experience as he struggles with class and race, art and sexuality, love and violence. Again, killing it with the covers. Um, love this cover so much. This is a little bit of a chonker actually at about 487 pages. This is high priority for me. Can't wait to get into this. I've never really been disappointed been disappointed by Alan Hollinghurst. So excited, excited. Then Richard Osman's We Solve Murders. And thank you to Viking for this copy. It's a departure from the Thursday Murder Club. This is about a father and daughter that become a crime solving duo. I'm sure we'll be all hearing a lot about this and this is gonna be pushed big time. This also is on sale September 17th here in the US. So look for this probably everywhere <laughs> very soon. By the way, speaking of the Thursday Murder Club, I don't know if any of you have read it. I've only read the first one and absolutely loved it. I have all of them, but, um, and I'm really excited for the movie to come out, incredible cast. But it's also a great audiobook. If 
you're into the audiobooks and I talk about that and um it it is really 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 fantastic so just a side note then uh Garth Greenwell's small rain and thank you to FSG for this this you know you can this front page says they asked me to describe the pain but the pain defied description on a scale of one to ten it demanded a different scale this is um a, a poet whose life is basically turned upside down when he has a terrible retching pain and goes into the ICU and what happens. I think this is a little bit of the metafiction thing. Apparently, um, Garth Greenwell had something that was done to him, although he says this is not a biographical novel. Um, I think he just used his experience as inspiration. This is out now. So excited for this. Then... Color Television by Danzy Senna. This is out now. This is about a woman, a writer in Los Angeles, who is striking out with her book, it meets a Hollywood producer who wants to develop a Jackie Robinson of biracial comedies. And what happens as things go terribly wrong? I think it sounds great. I've never read anything by Danzy Senna, so very excited about that. I think I said in my last video, for those who are interested in little bits of trivia, she happens to be married to Percival Everett. So there you go for a literary power couple. Okay. And finally, one of my Jahonkin, this is going to be my read it all month book, is Christopher Isherwood's Inside Out by Catherine Bucknell. I, I think this sounds like such an extraordinary, extraordinary undertaking. First of all, it clocks in... I'm going to just go without the hundreds of pages of notes, 733 pages. That's not including the notes, but um, she was the woman who compiled all of his, the volumes of his diaries of which there are three of which I've read all of them. And those unto themselves are huge. They're calling this as the definitive biography. It's supposed to be really engaging and just fantastic. So I can't wait again one of the things I've most been anticipating this month. Couldn't wait to get a hold of it. Um, and yeah. So there it is quickly. Um, seven books. Seven books to read this September. And we'll see what I get to. And clearly by last month, I, I didn't stick to what I planned to. And I went all over the place ultimately. So Ben, Benny, would you like to say goodbye? All right, so from hot Los Angeles and with a panting dog, I hope you're all having a good week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend or wherever you are when you're seeing this, whatever part of the week you're in. And I will see you all soon. Thanks.